Welcome home racing fans. Well, we're in for a treat today. I decided to get something different and I think this qualifies. This is the new uh, 60 Years of Mini Diamond Edition Triple Pack from Skeletric. Um, for those that really like the packaging and the box art, I think they've done really well. Uh, that's not why I bought it, but I know a lot of collectors out there care about things like that. Uh, let's just get right to the inside. And uh, there are our minis. Of course, we've got a little history here in the back of the of the box here in the box lid, but it's all about the cars for me. Uh, we won't call this the Italian job set. We're not going to do that. We're just going to say it's the Diamond Edition, but um, most of you that are fans of the uh, of the film and everything can obviously tell. Anyway, uh, red, white, and blue. They look really nice. Uh, my number is 0225 of 2000, for those that care about things like that. But I intend to race these cars. I got these for a purpose. I think you can tell right here... Uh, my lane colors, red, white, and blue. Well, what do you know? So I think you're gonna, I think you've done figured out what I'm gonna do. So we'll, we'll take a quick look at the inside for those that aren't familiar with these cars. You know, a lot of people, um, you know, some people don't care for them. They're a little bit inaccurate. They've been nitpicked to death and that's fine. If you don't like them, hey, don't buy them. I bought them here to have some fun with and that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's just take a closer look. I'm just going to use the red car as an example, uh, give you a closer look. I think the cars look pretty good. Like I said, people have nitpicked it to death. It's not perfect. Uh, we know it's not perfect, but I still like them. I still think they depict the uh, legendary one-to-one -one pretty well. In our hobby, uh, pretty well is about as good as it gets. I have no complaints, but then again, I'm not a, a mini uh, <laughs> enthusiast. So if you are and you don't like them, like I said in the first review, uh, then just don't buy them. But... I have intentions for these cars, and I'm pretty happy with the uh, detail level. The lights, uh, lights fronted rear here and back here. As you can see there, there's your light boards. So um, it's lighted front and rear. The motor, um, way too hot, like I said earlier. This one's tacking out about 27,000 RPM. It's just way too hot for this little car. Uh, it's always been that way, always will be. Take it or leave it. So uh, 9, to 9 to 20 gearing, little crown gear back there, and this huge bar magnet in this little car. Goes all the way across. Plenty of uh, magnetic uh, attraction for those guys, magnet racing. But we're not doing that, of course, on the wood. But that's okay. That's why I'm waiting for my parts, and we're going to get these things tuned up the way I like them. But overall, job well done, Skeletric. Really cool car, really cool set. I think most uh, collectors or people, fans of the Mini, they should like this car. I mean, how can you not? It's uh, it's cool enough. And at speed, well, that's where the fun begins. So, uh, you know, my vote, well done, Skeletric. Really cool set. 